getting an easier right. Um, and I think he is the strongest coming into this uh, type of finish. And if Lysenko decides that he wants this stage, and I don't think he'll gift it. This is a you know big race. They need the points. They don't um, have that many wins this year, and you know they could be chalking up another one. Inside corner and a little bit of trouble with the gearing there for Alexei Lutsenko. But this is the first uh, gradual gradient of around 3% for a kilometre now. They're marking each other. Lutsenko has got it. He's got an easy ride so far. Less than two kilometres to go. Fascinating battle here for the stage because it's uh, quite apparent now that the overall classification will be going to uh, to Astana, Kazakhstan, to Alexei Lutsenko. But will he make it to stage wins too? The chasing group 111, they are not going to be a big danger unless they come to a complete standstill in a game of poker on the side of the road. Well, this is what George Bennett is doing. He's just keeping it rolling because he knows the gap is coming down and you know, he wants to, to go onto that podium, he wants to kind of secure it, um, and that's why he's asking, come on, you know, the gap coming down, you know, we want to kind of secure it, but Sivkov doesn't have to because, you know, Yates is still, he started at 14 seconds down, so, or 15, because um, now Lysenko taking that one second bonus, so they're kind of stripping the cars out, Josh Bennett getting a little bit nervous now, um, and that's why he's riding on the front, to just kind of make sure that, you know, he stays in, um, in you know, third, uh, in second place in the podium, for the moment anyway. Final effort there for Jan Christen, our stage winner on day two. With Yates and Ulissi on his wheel. This is the final kilometre, now it really starts to ramp up. George Bennett in first, Sivakov on his wheel. Lutsenko overseeing procedures in third wheel, knowing that he has most likely got the overall win in the bag. but. Like you said, Brian, he's, he's not the kind of rider who wants to gift away a stage win, especially since Astana is not the most winning in, winnings team out there. Let's wait for Sivakov. Nope. Missed that very tight corner. There we go. There's a few tighter corners in the way towards the finish and the way up now, so inside the last kind of few hundred metres, but George Bennett is the one at the front, Sivakov, he said he wants to go for the stage, but you have to think that, you know, the, the person in the box seat for the for another stage win is in fact Vesenko, the race leader. It's a really wide road here, 600 metres. Who is going to attack? We just had the steepest part there on the inside of that hairpin. Now it's a straight road towards the finish line. With Bennett, with Sivakov, with Lutsenko. 500 metres to go. Will it be the first victory for George Bennett since 2021? The first one for Sivakov since September last year. Or the first one for Alexa Lutsenko since mm, yesterday. 400 metres. The peloton is inching ever closer as George Bennett starts uh, the sprint, not yet. This is the final straight. Now the sprinting is starting. Lutsenko is looking so cool there in third position. It's a very long sprint here by George Bennett with Sivakov on his wheel. When is Sivakov going to make his move? When is Lutsenko going to make his move? Is he going on the inside? Now we're going for the final 200 meters. Sivakov, Bennett and Lutsenko. It's a sprint with the two, with Sivakov and with Bennett. Looks like Lutsenko is not really pushing for it. He knows he's got the overall win in the bag. Sivakov is making his way to the line and he has it. Pavel Sivakov wins the stage ahead of George Bennett and Lutsenko wins the overall classification of the Giro d'Abruzzo. There's the peloton. They made it uh, very close with uh, Paul Double here, with Adam Yates, with Ulissi as well, with Yanis Vozar with uh, Giovanni Corboni, with uh, Pozzo Vivo. And it looks like uh, Adam Yates is going to lead Diego Olisi home for the sprint here. It was a, a custom-made finish for Diego Olisi that they let these three riders go up the road because look how easy Diego Olisi is going for the finish line here. 
Fourth place there for Diego Ulissi. Fifth goes to Yanis Wazar. And sixth, I think this is uh, Baptiste Tuet for the uh, Unibet team. Well, well he said in the end, the uh, Lutsenko didn't. Uh, yeah, he said push. it in the course of the cough that he wanted to go for the stage and he got the stage gifted, I have to say, by Lusenko. Lusenko just clear that, you know, the, the fact that, you know, the two riders were, were chasing each other, um, armchair right to the end, and, and, and I think it was decided out in the roads. Look, if you don't attack me, it's up to you guys to race for the stage. I'm not interested in stage, I just want to win the general classification, and it was clear in the end. So the communication was out there. When Sivakov said he wanted to go for the stage, I think they'd already kind of almost agreed. So the stage was always going to be go between um, Bennett and Sivakov in the end. <clears throat> Hindsight is great, and it would be great to be inside the team cars, but until the end, we are left guessing. But the big guess was, you know, who was going to win the stage, and Sivakov won that. But uh, Lysenko gifted it. Yeah, I think that is the uh, correct conclusion. He just uh, he didn't push on. He just let the two uh, go for it. Sivakov, Bennett, Lutsenko. Ulisi at 39, meaning that Sivakov, Bennett, Lutsenko is also going to be our podium. Voisar, Idria Mer, Carboni, Kajamini, Conti and Pozzovivo in 10th place.